Hey guys, Jason the Lazy Heretic here again with day five, Advent devotional. Finally caught up yesterday. I hope I didn't overwhelm you with all of the uh, amount of content that I shoved up in one day, four videos in one day, but they're not too long, so hopefully it's, uh, it wasn't too bad. But we are doing Advent devotional day five, and we're in our first week, although this first week will be a few extra days because, uh, because the month of December started early, well, three days early for us and so we're going to be looking at hope but in the context of uh, this week we're talking about the Annunciation and I actually want to talk a little bit about nihilism which may seem kind of odd to talk about nihilism at this point in uh, in our devotional series and looking at hope and kind of trying to understand the Christian hope but I think nihilism is relevant because it kind of is a big pervading thought around uh, the world at this point in time because you kind of look around the world and you go man where's the hope in this world where's the point what's the point what's the purpose and a lot of people would go well actually there's no there's no purpose to life there's no no purpose no point nothing worth living for because the world is just the way it is and it's never going to change it's never going to get any better people have been killing each other and all we do is we kind of invent more and better and more efficient ways to get rid of each other and to kill each other and so what's the point nihilism is kind of the end of that process just going around and actually answering the question what's the point with well there there is no point there's no point to to this kind of idea of life and and meaning and i've got one quote here which i'll read to you so i'll just uh move myself forward here and I'll read to you um, there is no justification for life is the opening sentence of this quote so it's really kind of uh, really just hits it right on the mark there there's no justification for life but also no reason not to live so you can see the quandary that the the nihilist kind of gets into they say well there's no justification there's no point there's no reason to be alive but there's no reason not to be alive either and I shared this uh, this quote on uh, the Lazy Heretic podcast, which you can find uh, at our website, thelazyheretic.blog. And the the kind of quandary is that I actually really like being alive. Living, there's some pleasant things to it. It's not all bad, you know. In fact, there's quite a few good things to, to being alive and to living. And I get to enjoy the sunsets and walks on the beach and the pleasures of life and all that sort of stuff. So it's not all bad in terms of being actually being alive it's just that there's no reason to life there's no rhyme or reason to the universe then he goes on to say that those who claim to find meaning in their lives are either dishonest or deluded okay so the people like me who claim to have um, some form of hope and reason to live in relationship with jesus and and um and salvation and and pursuing and loving god well either i'm dishonest or i'm deluded so that's some good good options there in either case they fail to face up to the harsh reality of the human situations i think actually that's the end of the quote by the way i think actually that the gospel and the church and uh, the people that god has called out and created as his people in this world actually have a really good uh, response to that and um and it is in the hope of Jesus. It is in actually Christmas time. And the fact that I remember hearing about the truce of the very first Christmas of the First World War, that in the middle of all this fighting, Christmas Day comes along and there's this peace. And uh, we'll talk a bit more about that uh, next week when we get into the theme of peace. But there always seems to be this, this power that the gospel story has, the story of Jesus coming as a human being to... Uh, to save us, to take away all this pain. I mean, I love the picture that we get at the end of Revelation where there's no more tears, no more crying, no more pain. And we'll survey a few of these verses in the next few days. But just that idea that um, there actually is hope for us, that there is a point to living, that God himself has spoken into this world in the person of Jesus Christ, that he has come down, he has indwelt in this world, and he has made a way for us to know him to be reconciled to him and to live in relationship with him. And then he sent the Holy Spirit to be present with us during our time here on earth, preparing us, sanctifying us, making us holy, showing us, allowing us to experience the new kingdom life that he has for us when we are resurrected at the end of time. So I think that uh, there is far more 
to life than uh, just the pleasures that we experience. And there certainly is reason to live and that reason for me, but comes in the person of Jesus Christ who came down at this time. So our hope is founded on Jesus. And uh, so we're going to wrap it up and that's going to be the end of our devotion for today. But uh, feel free to leave a comment, um, share us around, and we'll look forward to catching up with you again tomorrow. So bless you guys heaps, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.